Sarah. And I'm Jen. Today we're going to start off by showing you guys what's in both of our purses. Also, we're going to answer some of your questions that you asked. It's a purse that I carry around regularly. And I got this purse from Urban Outfitters maybe like three years ago. There's like a kiss lock clutch in the middle so you can put your really important things in there. I always carry around um, sunblock and this is SPF 100 by Neutrogena. Don't really like getting tan so because my skin's like super sensitive so I always have to slather this all over my body. When it dries it's really matte so it's cool to put all over your face too and I always put this before I put any makeup on. A Canon, just like a point and shoot. I have a DSLR, but I just use this to take like quick snapshots. I don't really want to lug like a three pound thing in my purse. A wallet, and it's this hot pink one. I used to have a white one, but I lost it along with my license and everything. There's like a picture of like a cat on it with like yellow blood. I did this in high school. <laughs> Super yellow on the inside. I got it at Forever 21. It's just kind of like your standard wallet. And a pack of gum and today I have Orbit and it's winter mint. My phone with me and it's a Palm Pixie and right now it's dead because I left my charger in San Francisco. <laughs> got a really cool keypad and makes like cute little sounds. I like that, that pressy sound. I just like that sound because it I always carry this white like contact case carrier and I got it from this Japanese store called Muji where they don't believe in labels so nothing has a label on it. I found my compact and it's by MAC and it's pretty old. It's NC25 on, on a lipstick that me and Sarah bought together. It's um, Vegas Volt. This cool like coral color and it's good for everyday use and it's more neon in real life. My main purse is this big structured purse right here that I got from Goodwill and I like things that are sturdy and tailored. Brand is Charles, Charles Louvre and I have no idea who that is. My sunglasses, you've probably seen these from our Santee Hour video and other various outfits. You never know when you get blinded while you're driving, plus it protects you from UV rays. Swiss Army knife, always be prepared, you never know when you've got something to celebrate. This lipstick in my purse at all times. It's this color called Rose Pit Petal. It's a really creamy formula, so when I have this, I don't need chapstick either. It's kind of a staple with me. It's just something I can always put on. A couple of rings that I throw into my bag that kind of go with everything, like a gold one and a silver one. So however I'm feeling kind of like grandeur or just a little bit more funky, I guess. My black moleskin planner that I got at Barnes & Noble. I love it a lot because it's just a really basic, solid color. Pack of post-its. I usually write directions on these because I don't have a GPS system. So I write directions and then I just slap it onto my onto my wheel. My iPod. Walk around anywhere, like the market even, and I, I don't know, I feel weird if I don't have it on. I really like listening to my music and not the music that comes out of ceilings. A Carl's Jr. <laughs> coupon packet. <laughs> I always carry this because there are coupons for free fries in here. Of course, my phone. If I don't have my phone, I just I feel really sad. Like, I don't have a clock and I don't have any communication with anyone that I'm not near already. I've got a camera. I only use it to take pictures of things that I've baked. And I use the keypad to text Jen. We are not related by blood or anything. We just spend too much time with each other. We have black hair. <laughs> it's just a vocal synchrony thing where we talk alike and do the same gestures. It's almost disgusting how much time we spend together. We're oh, doing it. Oh. <laughs> Mirroring. <laughs> College and I'm majoring in communication. And for my major, I just recently decided I want to eventually become a veterinarian. So I'm thinking of majoring in zoology or some kind of biological major. Just to clarify everything, we don't have like a blog, we don't have a Shiktopia or lookbook, we don't have anything. Yeah, we have no fashion accounts. Other yeah. Than this. Yeah, going strong. Yeah. <laughs> they thought we wouldn't last. <laughs> I think around like 55% of my wardrobe just thrifted. Um, everything I just kind of like mix and match the vintage and modern pieces together. At least 70% of my wardrobe <laughs> is has been worn by other people yeah. for me. Like your closet smells like a thrift store. <laughs> In high school, I actually dressed really plain. I wore just t-shirts and jeans because I was in a really exclusive monogamous relationship 
where we were practically married and neither of us cared how the other person looked or anything. I only started to like really express like my taste and stuff after we broke up. Just I just did a 180, like I just became more extroverted and my personality just kind of was amplified because that was my own person I guess. And it wasn't really like in spite of him or just to show him how I look or anything. It was just kind of a happy consequence of just being on your own. Um, in high school, I really dressed like super girly. Like I would put on like fake eyelashes every single day for no reason, and I would like match everything. I would make sure I, I wouldn't wear like a lot of things at the same times because I was like scared that like people would notice that I would wear the same thing. A lot of people have been asking us like where we got our cross earrings, and I actually made them, and they're really easy to make. But I still have four pairs left, so if you want to get one, then just message us, and we'll give you more info on like shipping and handling and all that kind of stuff. Well, of course, a lot of the music that we use for our videos, those are the artists we really like. But there's other things that we dabble into. Like I really love um, Jenny Lewis and Laura Marlington. Emmy's great, but not a lot of people know her. And I really enjoy Arcade Fire's new album right now, The Suburbs. You guys should check that out. Since August is coming to an end, school's approaching. So we're gonna do a back to school fashion haul and we're just gonna show you some outfits that we picked out. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Sarah. So Halloween's coming up, so that means there's going to be lots of events and parties that are going to require a costume. So if you're in a pinch with a last minute party or something, we have eight costume ideas for you. Yeah, and most of these items should already be in your closet, such as like a striped shirt or like black denim or leggings. And so you don't have to focus on like the minor details. Yeah, the things that you'd have to buy are little things from costume stores, but the main costume idea is going to be right in your closet. If you're going to be a sailor, all you'll be needing is a sailor hat such as this, and you can get this at like Party City. I got this hat from a friend actually. It's a vertical striped shirt or a horizontal one, some high-waisted shorts with like little sailor detailings, and just like a big like a big heel, and you'll be all set. creepy, grotesque vibe for your Halloween costume, you could be the Black Dahlia because she died in such a grotesque manner. You just get any vintage looking hairpiece like this one from Forever 21 and some kind of vintage looking dress that's kind of almost a gothic way because she was dead. You're going to have that crazy cut looking smile on your face all night. Another striped shirt and some black leggings and shoes. And you can just practice your your mime techniques. Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. First, you have to cut off all of your hair like I did, or get a wig. 
The main thing is pretty much just a white button-down shirt and black pants. If you want, you can do the fun OD to Mia Wallace, where she's got blood everywhere and she's got that big black spot where they're going to stab her with the adrenaline. Deets from Beetlejuice and she was known to wear a lot of black in the film and so all you'd be needing is a black sun hat such as this one and this one's from Forever 21 but you can probably just thrift one somewhere or get one at American Apparel. Just make sure you have like a black flowy top and some and like a black skirt and some thick boots because that's all she wore. Make sure your makeup's really pale and like and some dark eye makeup and you should always carry around a little camera around your neck so you can just take photos like she did. because it's so easy. You pretty much need something with a sleek silhouette, probably black because it's a scary Halloween cat. And the important component is the ears, just like any mean girl knows, it's all about the ears. <laughs> yourself having nothing to wear and you can't think of anything to be, you can always be a sim from the game. All you'll be needing is like a foam cutout and cut them into like diamonds and then cut the edges of it and just like glue them on basically and then just paint it green. Some wires and stick them in and for support and just get a regular old headband and just put it on your head. And you could basically just wear whatever you want and just stick in your head and if you want to take it off, you can take it off. I'm gonna hit you on your face I'm gonna punch you in your glasses Oh no I just got a message that said Yeah, hair has frozen over I got a phone call from the Lord Saying, hey boy, guess what? Right now As you know, it's a little girl who chews bubblegum a lot and she turns into a big blueberry. So you need anything that you want really, that's, as long as it's that purple or violet color, like this dress that I got a year ago from Forever 21. Um, and just wear this, and it's all about the makeup and accessories, which would be some blue eyeshadow or paint on your nose, and bubblegum, just chew it all night long. <laughs> 